As promised, I told you that the day TubeBuddy for Android became available that I would let you know, and today is that day. My name is Dean Nimmin, and you're watching the Master Your Mobile video series, and we're talking about TubeBuddy today and some of the features that you're gonna wanna know before you start using the apps, you understand what's going on. Now, before you stop watching this video and run over there to install the app, I do want you to watch just a minute or two of this video, so after you install it, you've got a better idea of what's going on so you can make better use of the app. So let's open it up, and I'm gonna walk you through a few things that you're gonna wanna pay attention to once you put in the app. And by the way, when you're done watching the video, I'm gonna have links down in the description below that's gonna take you straight to the TubeBuddy site so you can put it in. Now let's open TubeBuddy and get started. Okay, the first thing that's gonna happen when you open TubeBuddy is you're gonna have to log in with a Google account that's associated with your YouTube account. So when the app opens, the first thing you're gonna notice in the top is your live subscriber count, followed by your recent uploads. You can scroll down through those and you can see the uploads. Now, you're gonna notice on here, you can see how many views you have, how many comments you have, thumbs up, thumbs down, and so on. And moving right over, you're gonna see, you can see these little moving sliders over here. Those are your comments. You can come through here, and you can reply to all of your comments. You can also sort them, obviously hide comments I've replied to, only show questions and show hidden comments. Or you come over to the trophy and you can see the milestones for your channel. For example, you see I just reached 2,500 subscribers. And by the way, thank you guys for that. I do appreciate it. And after you tap on that, it's gonna load a certificate that you can download or share on social media or print it on your wall, whatever you wanna do. Over here on the far right, you're gonna see the globe. This is industry news, video news, if you will. You can come up to the sort option and you can turn on and off news that you do not want. This is really handy if you're trying to keep up on video news and what's happening in the industry. So we're gonna go back to video. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna tap on this video. It's gonna load up and the first thing it's gonna do is a best practices check. Did you upload a high-res thumbnail? Check. Add tags to your title? Check. Apparently, I did not add tags to my description or not enough tags, so I've got a red exclamation point. That lets me know that I need to go back and fix that. I also need to add captions, which I'm actually working on today, and I need to get a like on Facebook. Moving over to the tag icon, it's gonna load up the tags that you have for the video, and anytime you see a green number, that's where you actually rank for that tag. For example, free YouTube thumbnail maker app, at the time of this video, I'm ranking for number one. YouTube Thumbnail Maker, I'm ranking number three, and so on. Now keep in mind, this changes all the time, so even though I might be ranking here right now, it might change tomorrow. Now I can also tap on Suggest, and it can suggest tags for me that I might wanna put into my video. For example, these are the suggested tags, so if I wanna add how to make thumbnails, I tap on that. Now I can copy it to my clipboard, to my tag list, or I can put it right into the video. I can also explore tags. Let's see, I want to explore Android apps. And it's gonna give me a list of tags that I think that I should put in my video. And it's also gonna tell me the search volume, competition, and overall. The same thing, you just tap on the one that you want and you can copy it into your clipboard, your tag list, or go straight to your video. Now, if you go up to the far left, you're gonna see the drop down menu. And you can go to Topic Planner, which is basically like a note keeper where you can keep track of your notes and it will sync it up with your desktop if you also have it as a plugin on your desktop. This is a really cool feature. You can also work on canned responses. So if you have a lot of comments where you say the same exact thing over and over and over again, you can preload them here so when you tap on it and you see the little in there, that's gonna put their username in. So anytime I might need to add something that I say repetitively, I use the canned response feature moving right along to the tag list. Now, I personally don't use this feature, but if you find that you're using a lot of tags, video after video, you can make the list here, and then you can copy and paste them into each video as you get started. And those are the features to help you get started with the TubeBuddy app. Now, if you have a desktop, you can also use a browser plugin, and there's a lot more going on over on the desktop side, but if you're on the go, maybe you're at a cafe, at an airport, wherever it is you might have your phone, and you wanna to check to see how your videos are doing or you wanna make some changes, this is the way to go. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell so you don't miss anything, and you can continue to master your mobile, and I will see you in the next video.